Canelo, you a bitch. I'm putting it out there. <laughs> bitch ass motherfucker. What happened? I know. I know that. So what do I do YouTube? It's your boy KD in this thing and I'm back at y'all again with another video. Okay, so before we get going on the video, man, y'all know what to do. Go on here, hit the like button, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe one time for your boy so we can continue to grow. Like we need to grow on this channel, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. So yeah, bro. Y'all see what the title of the video is, man. Demetrius Andrade is gonna shock the world versus David Benavidez. Just like Terrence Crawford did versus Earl Spence Jr. And I know what some fanboys in the comment section right now like, Oh no way, Katie! Demetrius Andrade is a horrible fighter! Right? I mean, I... You niggas are so predictable, it ain't even funny, bro. You dudes don't even got no original things to say when it comes to certain shit, right? <laughs> but I know some of you niggas right now are sitting in the comment section hating. Hating your ass off at Demetrius Andrade for no apparent reason at all. I mean, all this dude has ever done was try to fight the biggest and best competition out there. And this is just yet another example of that, right? How many guys do you know right now are trying to get in the ring with David Benavidez? I'll wait. How many guys do you know of right now are trying to get in the ring with David Benavidez? I will wait right right yo guy yo hero canelo alvarez right has been running from david benavidez for about two years now right this man has been the mandatory challenger for canelo belt for at least about two years already right and canelo shows no signs of even attempting to get in a ring with david benavidez right now this man fighting a 154 pounder and then after he's done with that, he may fight Terrence Crawford, a 147 pounder at the end of the day, right? But any and everything in order to not fight a David Benavidez, right? You know what I mean? So that just goes to show you what type of guy Demetrius Andrade is. And it ain't like he had a whole lot of time to campaign at 168. This dude is fighting David Benavidez in his second fight at 168 pounds. How many guys out there? do you know are willing to fight a guy like david benavidez in their second fight at a new weight class right so i'm gonna really need niggas to put respect on demetrius andrade's name at the end of the goddamn day this dude has always wanted all the smoke he's always wanted all the smoke it's always been like that it didn't just happen he's always wanted all the smoke right always always he didn't, Dimitri, David Benavidez didn't go out looking for Demetrius Andrade. Demetrius Andrade went out looking for David Benavidez at the end of the goddamn day. Because the man wants to test himself. The man wants to challenge himself. The man believes that he's the best, right? And is willing to do what it takes in order to prove that. And that's why we got this fight or semi got this fight, right? Because it ain't been officially announced as of yet. But this is the closest I've ever seen to this fight being made. So I'm just going to assume that this shit is made, right? And again, bro, once we get an official announcement and once these guys actually get in the ring, Demetrius Andrade is going to shock the world. Just like Terrence Crawford did against Earl Spence Jr., right? He going to shock the world, y'all. He going to shock the world. And honestly and truly, bro, it's sad that it's gonna come as as much of a shock to people as it's gonna be because at the end of the day just like terrence crawford these guys are elite fighters right they're elite fighters they always wanted to fight the best competition out there but because of their skill set because of how talented they were all the top fighters in the big names did everything in their power to stay far, far away from these guys, right? 
far, far away from these guys. And just like Terrence Crawford went in the ring and easily beat the hell out of Earl Spence Jr., I think we're going to see something similar from Demetrius Andrade, right? I think we're going to see something similar from Demetrius Andrade, right? You know what I mean? You know, this is going to be a tougher fight for Andrade than it was for Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence because at the end of the day, the skill gap is much closer, right? Not only that, but Andrade's coming up in weight in order to fight David Benavidez, right? His second weight at the weight class. But again, Demetrius Andrade is that talented to where I know he still levels above anything David Benavidez can do. And if both of these guys meet in the ring... I'm confident that Demetrius Andrade will beat and probably even stop David Benavidez, right? He probably will even stop David. And I know what some fanboys in the right in the comment section right now. Oh no, no way, KD. Demetrius Andrade, horrible fighter. You know, I know how you niggas get down, right? At the end of the day, right? No breakdown, no, no. No, no boxing acumen applied to any of the goofy shit that you niggas are saying. Just raw emotion, right? Parroting the nonsense that some other fighter said about Demetrius Andrade, which I may add is the same fighter that has done everything in their power to stay away from him for the last seven years, right? Seven years, eight years, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know, 2023 seems to be the year. 2023 seems to be the year that a lot of the lies and a lot of the bullshit and a lot of the cap seems to be coming to light. You know what I mean? Seems to be coming to light. 2023 seems to be that year. 2023 seems to be that year, right? We started out the year with Ryan Garcia, a guy who was put on this pedestal to be one of the quote unquote four kings of the lightweight division when in reality this dude wasn't nothing but a instagram model right <laughs> this wasn't this this nigga wasn't nothing but a dude doing it for the gram the entire time and all the real boxing fans knew what it was from jump but yet and still there were all these groups of fans that believed that ryan garcia was somehow gonna beat tank was somehow an elite fighter even though the man had never been a world champion a day in his goddamn life right right and then we went to earl spence versus terrence crawford where everybody believed earl spence to be this monster the big fish man down put him in the dirt strap season right this dude who's supposed to be made out to be this amazing fighter right in comparison to terrence bud crawford who was known as the b-side was known as the guy who ain't fought nobody right even though before terrence crawford fought earl spence jr he was a three-way division one-time undisputed two-time lineal champion right but he ain't fought nobody right you know what i mean and then when they made the fight between terrence crawford and earl spence why Earl, why Terrence Crawford ended up being the betting favorite against Earl Spence Jr. But the narrative up until the actual fight was that Bud Crawford ain't fought nobody, right? And that's the same situation here. Mark my words, when we go into this fight, once this fight is official versus David Benavidez and Demetrius Andrade, it's going to be very interesting to see what the betting odds are going into Vegas, right? Going to be very interesting to see what it look like. You know what I mean? Because up until now, a lot of boxing fans have been saying Demetrius Andrade ain't fought nobody. You know? So if that's the case, then it should be an easy win for David Benavidez, according to these niggas in their logic. You know what I mean? But again, like I said, bro, a lot of the lies and a lot of the cap and a lot of the smoke and mirrors is going to be exposed or is exposed in this great year of 2023 for boxing because... Like I said, Demetrius Andrade is going to shock the world versus David Benavidez. And it's going to leave a lot of people looking, once again, like they don't know shit about boxing. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap the video up right here, man. Let me know what your thoughts is, bro. Hit it up in the comment section below. 
If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and everybody. And I do mean everybody, be sure to hit the goddamn like button on your way out. But until next time, bro, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Peace. He called me a horrible fighter, but he just got beat by like a basic foundation.